number one. Probably one of the same one, maybe. This is my cheesy uh, mic setup here. I like it. It's kind of, I want to say Aventus. We're broke here on the channel. We don't have Aventus. This is not Aventus. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. What are you uh, picking up? Definitely lemon or like some kind of citrus. Um, I'm gonna say it may not be Aventus, but this is definitely an Aventus clone or something similar to it. Yeah, it's in the same. So it's Cidrat Boise Intense. Ooh, I did not smelled this once but then i shipped it off to somebody so i don't have it shipped it off yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's another story <laughs> but you know i like it i like it i don't get any of the oud though like hidden in the backdrop deep deep down eight out of ten eight out of ten eight out of ten mark that all right so uh i'm here with joe at no nonsense fitness go subscribe to his channel uh he has uh content going up regularly you get you post regularly right a couple times a week go check them out uh the link will be in the description down below and it'll be up on screen here I, so i brought five and you cheated and you brought six i did i couldn't decide which one to bring. so <laughs> uh give joe shit for that uh because he outdid me uh damn all right so we're gonna smell i brought five he brought five we're gonna he's gonna we're gonna blind blindness totally 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 blind Let's see what you think of this one all right i know some people like this Oh, it's, it's like a, it's got like a baby butt, baby powder kind of thing going on. <laughs> uh, citrus, uh, honestly, like a, uh, is it like a silver mountain water kind of thing? It is kind of it's, like that. It smells like a, like a, uh, very citrus bright, uh, honestly, it's silver mountain water is coming to mind. It's just attacking my nose is this uh our moths siash no i was gonna go with that one but you i know you uh, have yeah, that one, yeah, so yeah, I just, something a little different just recently got that one uh this is nice it's fresh it's inviting it reminds me so much of our moth siage really uh and then silver mountain water it's nice let's see what it is silver water and birch dude this smells like silver mountain water mm -hmm. And it could be had for $22 at Walmart, $23, something like that. Wow, does this last a long time? <laughs> yeah, it's probably four to five hours. I use it as a gym for you. That's nice. That, it <laughs> smells exactly like um, Armoff's Siage. Yep. And then, you know, Silver Mountain Water, but no one talks about Silver Mountain Water. Let me know what you think of number two. I actually like this. Shocker. <laughs> I'm a fan. Um, Does it remind you of anything? Invictus. Invictus. Oh, I'm getting twist. them. I was thinking immediately. I have one at the house. It's a uh, uh, made by Latafa. It's Najia Oud. I've not smelled that one. I've seen that one. I know. Uh, I think Post Cologne did a review on that one. Yeah, it's that. pretty. Uh, it's pretty. So, do you want to know what this one is? Of course. All right. Let me get the bottle. Turn around so you don't see it. I'll reveal it. It's like top-notch production quality right here. It is our Moff's new iconic. Oh, I don't know why I got that. I don't, it being Invictus. It is Blue de Chanel <laughs> to a T. I was, uh, I did like a video on it. Uh, link will be up here somewhere, but it is so close it to Invictus. Might have to try that out. That's Ross. Stop interrupting my video, Ross. Anyway, Ross is video bombing. <laughs> I like it. I actually was thinking about getting that one or the new one, Untold. But... It's nice. I'll give you a little decant. Of it. Uh, but this is Club de Nuit Icon. Ick. I keep saying Icon. I gotta stop doing that. All right, here we go. Number two. You're gonna see what I was talking about in a minute. Is this Sid Drop Boise? It is. <laughs> so the difference I th I think of Cidrop Boise and then Cidrop Boise Intense is like the intense is the dry down of Cidrop Boise. It is. So it's like, but this is, oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. That's why I was like, wait a minute. I think we brought the same one. We brought one. the same one. Classic. Honestly, it's fruity. Yeah, this is so good. Cidrop Boise. Get it. Just get it. If you don't have it, buy it. Now, the next one. Hopefully the camera focuses in on us. Smoky, or like incense or something. I don't know, I like it. It's not, it's definitely got a little bit of spice or kick to it. Does it come across like uh, 
sweet at all. It does. Have yeah. you ever tried One Million Elixir? Yeah, I have. Do you pick up on any vibes of One Million Elixir? I I don't think so. That proves my theory wrong, because I I think that this one smells a lot like One Million Elixir. Oh, I'm not a fan of the One Million line anyway, so... It's so this one is... I don't get any of that. Stronger with you, absolutely. I was actually just looking at a Latafa clone for that this morning. <laughs> oh, the cheesy one? Like, the, the <laughs> Latafa, you're getting out of control here. You gotta stop. I don't know how they get away with it, man. They'd be straight ripping people off. I know. I, I get flagged for copywriting music. They're copying bottles. Oh, we love you, Latafa. Sponsor his channel. He said it. I didn't. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts and ratings for uh, Stronger With You. Absolutely. Absolutely cold like, out here. During the winter, probably like a 9 out of 10. Or like maybe fall. I, don't know I wore it, I wore it the other day. I was like so happy with it, dude. It's, it's getting better as you let it sit. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> when it sits on your skin, it's just like, it's like ten hours. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. This is probably the most interesting one I brought with me today. Um. Wow. Uh. I, it feels like a. It, you know what it smells like? A guy on a horse with full like knight armor, like yeah. a black horse, black armor. Mm -hmm. And he has a rose in his hand. Medieval rose. It's nice. Is there rose in this? Oh. There is rose in this. There's two different kinds of rose in this. It's really pleasant, actually. It's really pleasant. It's like smooth, but you know, rose can come. Okay, okay, here we go. Rose can come across <laughs> as an old lady. It, yes. That's why I used to not like rose fragrances. I had Declaration Dunsoir. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of that? I have not. That was an amazing rose fragrance. Um, but it smelled like champagne. This is really nice. It's got rose in it, and but it also has like a deep character in it too. Mm -hmm. I like it. What is it? Ooh, <laughs> Saharov <laughs> signature rose. He convinced me to try that one out. I was like, I don't like rose fragrances. He goes, just try this one. This is my second bottle. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> it is so nice. I'm gonna have to buy a bottle of that. Dude, this stuff is amazing. I think I have one more, and then uh, and then we'll move on. All right, this is uh, I can't even count. Here you go. Not like anything I've smelled before. I can hear that. Aha! Uh -huh, this is good. I have no idea what this is. I get like a maybe some like citrus in there or something. Maybe like a little bit powdery or soapy kind of. Pick up on any like. Coca-Cola vibes a little bit, but okay. I'm not crazy. I'm not, I don't think I've ever smelled anything like that. I don't think we <laughs> any of us know what it is. <laughs> maybe not Coca-Cola, but there is like maybe maybe Coca-Cola, but maybe like root beerish too or something. That's what I was like a Coca-Cola root beer kind of weirdness going on. I have no idea what this is, but I like it. Probably like I don't know. You could probably go all season with that one. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's too strong for anything. Like fall and winter, spring maybe. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Wow. This is Mara. I don't even know what that. Is. It's from Latafa. <laughs> it's nice. It is really nice. And in the air on the skin, it's like really, really pleasant. It's amazing. But... I've never had that because I'm a Latafa fanboy, and I have not had that one. <laughs> I saw it on Fragrance <laughs> Buy, and I was like, I gotta have it. I call the cap a crackhead's house. You know, like a sink nozzle. Oh yeah. For yeah. At, at like a crackhead's house. Yeah. I like that. That was pretty good. I gotta get me one of those. I gotta get me some of that. And it's cheap too. It's cheap. <laughs> this All right. one I didn't even know about until like five days ago. This one? Yeah, I picked it up at Burlington or something. TJ Maxx or something. Now I'm intrigued. I'm actually doing my own video on this one coming up soon. So. Uh, it's like fresh shit and like it's got a like a I think like a fruity zing to it. Um, I do get a little powdery nature, but it's like a, I feel like a more synthetic powder, not like a, like an iris powder. Like it's more of a, and it's kind of faint too. Not mm -hmm. really. I feel like it's a cheap, cheapy. Is it? It is. It was like $13. $13. <laughs> Shit. What is it? What the yeah. hell is this? Maison La de Aubusson. Salted green fig. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah. It's like, here, it smelled on the paper. It's like super faint. Yeah, like you can barely pick it you up. You can barely <laughs> pick it up. And it's gone. Yeah. I actually yeah. like the bottle. That's what got my attention. I was like, oh, we'll try it out for 12 bucks. All right. For the gym, it's nice. You could probably spray 300 sprays of it and then, um, you know. Right. All right. 
Um, oh, actually, it's reminding me of something. He just did a video on something similar to it. God, what is this? This is so... Oh, I know what this is. I'm a disappointment. I should know what this is. No, you're not a disappointment. Trust me. It's a little bit different than the one you had in the video. It's like, it's woody. It's like, I feel like there's oud in here. Is there any oud in here? No. It is amateur. <laughs> um, Although I think they're going to flame you in the comments when you don't know what this is, but I won't. <laughs> if I don't know what this is, I'm retiring. Uh, God, I don't know what this is, uh, but it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> All right, just put me out of my misery. <laughs> Angel share, of course it is. Wow, yeah. I'm a disappointment. I was like, I think they're going to flame you for not knowing, but I will this is good. I've never tried Angel Share, so, you know, for those people about to type a hateful comment, yeah. <laughs> this is very nice. It's it's the same kind of thing as Fire Your Desire, really. Um, but I feel like it's just better. Better in every way. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. He's going to have Angel Share next month on his channel. I'm going to have it tomorrow. <laughs> that is so good. I love it. All right, this is number five? Six. Why did you bring this here? Coach. Why did you bring this here? Well, My arch nemesis has returned. Is this Oud for Glory? It is. <laughs> I understand why people like it. I do. Yeah. It's like really woody dense. I, I get it. I just don't. Honestly, right now I'm freezing my ass off <laughs> smelling this. It's decent. I'm like, wow, that smells good. But if it warms up like four more degrees, this is going to be clawing itself. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so indifferent about it. It is very nice, but then again, it's shit. All right. This is number five, I think. Yeah, I can I can count. Let me know what you think of this one. Um, There's going to be another Middle Eastern one, I think. I think it is. I, I'm pretty sure the company is. Yeah, That's true. I like that. These are my favorite kind. I'm getting... There may be some oud in here, like some kind of woodsy notes. There is oud in this one, definitely. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> but I love oud though, so it's okay. Kind of is giving me by the fireplace vibes. Probably that sweetness. Get an oud, and there's a little bit of like an ashy feel too. Like, you know, sometimes like you get like, they'll add like the incense or like smokiness to it, and it kind of comes across a little ashy. Which I, I like. could get that, yeah, I could get that. Which I like that. I don't know. Uh, I want to say something by like Swiss Arabian or you're in the area <laughs> you're in the area I have no idea but it's good it's strong I'm getting a lot of strong like smoky notes I want to like probably gonna be like out of everything in this video this is gonna be the 10 if I had one I like I like a uh, 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> wow uh, so that one is honey a oud by Montal I've been wanting this one too I haven't had it, but now I have to get it. <laughs> well, I could give you a decant of a little, I have a little three milliliters. They're super convenient. Guys, if you don't know, get little three milliliter decant things and you can take your fragrances. It works really good when you wear like uh, fragrances that don't last long. You can just keep spraying them on all day long. Anyway, Montel Honey AU, 10 out of 10. I like that. A little surprise here at the end. What Zaharoffs have you smelled? Zaharoff. Uh, I've smelled Evening Mystique, TLTG's Business Over Pleasure, and then Rosé. And then uh, Ross sh shared with me uh, Signature X. Uh, um, try this one out. That's the one that's a decan I'm going to give you. It's Noir. So it's Noir. Like it's like Signature, but it's darker. This is Signature it's, it's Noir? It's like Signature, but a little bit darker. It's Signature Noir. Signature Noir. I've never smelled Signature. Oh, it's like one of my favorites. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> that is really nice. Ooh, that's elegant. Ooh, that's good. Here, bottle. No, it's yours. Oh, it no, you. really? Yeah, I'm giving it to you. I have a whole bottle of it. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Really? It, yeah. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. This is super nice. Wow. Yeah, I need to get a bottle of the signature, <laughs> really. Uh, this is really good though. Like what signature? makes it what makes it noir? It's a, it's a little darker. I think they have a I think he has some kind of incense or some kind of like smoky or darker note in there. They both have oud, which and it's so nice. Yeah, oh it is. They're both they're both really powdery and like super easy to wear. Yeah, that's um, what I'm getting a lot of like powdery aspects with it. Ooh, yeah. this is really nice. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. No problem. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, go subscribe to 
Joe over at No Nonsense Fitness. He does videos as well. Yeah, not as good as yours, but I'll get there one Stop day. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Leave a comment down below if you like any of the fragrances. And if you don't, please, uh, uh, yeah. Remember, he didn't know what Angel's hair was, so. That's very true. Uh, <laughs> and let Joe know that uh, uh, Oud for Glory is not good. <laughs> take care, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good day.